Adding heat to your chicken coop is one of the most debated conversations in the chicken keeping world. A lot of people are asking themselves, should I be adding heat to my chicken coop to keep my chickens warm? And my answer to that is almost always going to be a big giant no. You don't need heat for your chickens, but there are exceptions to that rule. Let's talk about it. But before you even think about adding any kind of supplemental heat to your chicken coop, there's a couple things that you can do that takes no electricity whatsoever that will help your chicken stay warm throughout the winter. Now, one of the first things you can do is you can start utilizing the deep litter method. And even if you don't want to do it during in the summer months, you should still be utilizing the deep litter method if you can during the winter months. And the reason for that is when you use the deep litter method and you do it correctly, it's going to emit some heat inside of your chicken coop. And this isn't going to be 5, 10 degrees. This is just going to be a couple degrees, but those couple degrees can really help your birds out during those really, really cold months. All the deep litter method is doing is instead of taking this nasty, dirty bedding and removing it from your coop, leave it inside your bedding and then just add new bedding on top of it. This is going to create a natural compost inside of your chicken coop and that compost is gonna give off a small amount of heat. I'm not gonna go into too much detail about that. I have a full video on the deep litter method I will leave in the description below. Now, the next thing you can do is you can take a hard look at your coop and make sure that it is completely draft free. Go through your entire coop and make sure you seal up any holes that aren't supposed to be there. And while you're doing that, take a good hard look at your ventilation in your chicken coop. This might seem a little bit counterintuitive because I'm talking about draft free and ventilation kind of in the same sentence here, but let me explain a little bit. When you're looking at your chicken coop, you want to look at where your chickens are roosting at night and you want you want to have some really good ventilation either in the front of your chickens or up above your chickens you don't want any kind of ventilation causing a draft that moves across your chickens what's going to keep them nice and warm in the winter is not having any of that draft moving through them you don't want any of that cold air but you do need to balance that with the ventilation because what happens if you don't have any ventilation inside your chicken coop is you start to build up condensation inside of your coop and that condensation will actually kind of rain down on your chickens and that can create a really big problem because your chickens are going to get wet and the absolute last thing you want your chickens to be during the winter time is wet if your chickens are dry and draft free they do not have any problems keeping themselves warm but the second these girls get wet they're gonna have a hard time staying warm and they can actually get frostbite and sometimes freeze to death depending on how, how cold and how wet they get and the next thing you want to make sure is you want to make sure they have water at all times and I'm talking not frozen water you want to have liquid water right now my normal water dish is completely empty we don't use that a whole lot this time of year what we do have is we have a heated water dish inside of the chicken coop that we use during the winter so that way they have a constant supply of fresh water water is going to be the most important thing for your chickens during the winter months they need that water to kind of keep themselves warm and stay hydrated and be healthy the next thing they need is obviously going to be food you need to make sure that you're keeping up with the food chicken chores can get kind of tedious during the winter time because it's cold we don't want to be coming out here every single day but it's something we need to do no matter how cold it is for us we still need to be coming out here making sure they have fresh clean water that's not frozen as well as all the food they need to keep themselves warm for the winter months now the very last thing you can do is you can insulate your chicken coop we don't get so cold here that we really need to insulate the chicken coop but our coop is big enough that it would be very easy to insulate what a lot of people do is they'll take some of their old feed bags they'll fill them up the leaves in the fall and they'll staple that to the walls of the coop and that provides a lot of insulation or if you're lucky enough when you're building your coop you can add that insulation into the walls whatever you can do to insulate your chicken coop especially if you're living in some of those colder areas you want to be insulating that chicken coop and that's going to go a long ways in keeping them warm without any electricity at all. Now that we've checked all the boxes of things we can do without electricity inside of our chicken coop to help keep them warm, at what temperature should we really start considering adding some supplemental heat inside the chicken coop? The answer to that is going to be somewhere around negative 15 to negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit. And I know that seems really cold, but our perception of cold is much different than a chicken's perception of cold. And let me explain that a little bit. Without any interference from us, chickens do an amazing job of regulating their own body temperature doesn't matter if it's hot or cold they do an amazing job of regulating it on their own for example during the cold winter months the chickens are going to be eating more food because during the digestion process it's going to be radiating heat out of their body and that heat is going to get stuck inside their down inside their feathers inside their little down parka that they have around their entire body and it's going to keep them nice and warm giving this nice little warm jacket all winter long now it doesn't hurt to feed the highest quality chicken feed you possibly can especially especially during the winter months. What we do is we feed this uh, scratch and peck chicken feed right here. I've had a lot of people ask me exactly what kind of feed we use. They, they get to the website and get kind of confused. This is the 16% organic layer mash. It's the little blue bag here. 
and this stuff is great. This is going to be a premium feed that gives your chickens all the nutrition they could possibly need, especially during the winter months. And we've actually noticed that when we use this feed during the winter, it actually gives us a little bit more eggs than we normally get, which is definitely nice too. But premium chicken feeds, they're not cheap. They can be pretty pricey and it's definitely not something that everybody can afford. If you are interested in scratch and peck feeds, I do have a 15% discount code down in the description below. But if you can't do a premium chicken feed, you can also do things like giving them your chicken scraps and giving them any kind of extra nutrition you possibly can, especially maybe grubs for protein, maybe not mealworms, but the like black soldier fly larvae and different things like that, that can give them a lot of extra protein. Another thing that's really good during the winter is going to be corn. If you give them corn, corn takes it takes longer for them to digest and that helps heat them up a little bit. So those are definitely a few things that you can do to help keep them warm throughout the winter. But let's say you do live somewhere that gets down into that negative 15, negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit range and you just want to give them a little bit of extra heat inside their chicken coop. How do you do that in a safe way? Hey, real quick, if you're enjoying this video, do me a huge favor. Go down, hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel. What this is going to do is it's going to tell YouTube that you enjoyed this video and then hopefully, if I'm lucky, they're going to send it out to other people who might also enjoy it too. Thank you. I appreciate it. If you're one of these people that want to add heat to your chicken coop, how do you actually go about doing that? Well, the first thing is don't use a heat lamp. Heat lamps are going to be the number one thing that causes your chicken coop to burn down that will kill your whole flock. It can spark a fire. Your fire can reach the house next to you. It can reach the barn next to you. It can reach whatever is gonna be next to your coop along with your entire flock and it will just kill and destroy everything. What happens is your chickens are in your coop, right? They're sitting in the bedding. They're all dusty and just full of chicken things, dust and whatever chickens are covered in. <laughs> and all it takes is one spook chicken, just one. That spook chicken is gonna fly up. They're gonna hit that heat lamp and explode it. The surface temperature of a heat lamp, depending on the heat lamp that you have, the surface, surface temperature can be up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. And when that explodes, your chicken that just hit it is gonna be covered in dust and covered in bedding, depending on what bedding you have. It could be straw, it could be wood chips, it could be a whole lot of different things. And then those hot pieces are gonna fall and they're gonna hit the ground, which is also covered in those things. And you're gonna spark a fire. And I know that some of you are like, well, Brandon, I've been using heat lamps for 30 years and I've never had an issue and I'm really happy that you haven't had an issue, but that doesn't mean it can't happen. There are so many safer ways to do this now, so let's talk about those. Now, the number one thing that I recommend people using to heat their chicken coop is going to be this right here. And not necessarily this exact same one, but this technology. This is a radiant heat panel made specifically for chicken coops. This is gonna be light year safer than a heat lamp will ever be. I'm not gonna talk about the brand of this one today because honestly, I got onto Amazon and I picked the cheapest one with good reviews that I could possibly find because I just wanted to be able to have this here so I can talk about it. Where I live, we never hit the temperatures that would make me need this, but I wanted to get this so that way I could have this here to show you. Now what these do is they have a plate that heats up and right now this plate is on and I can still touch it with my hand because it's not overly hot. Yes, if I hold my hat, hand there, it gets a, a, little bit, a little bit hot, but it's not too bad. I will say that since I've been holding this, it shut off because as soon as it feels movement or as soon as it tips over or something like that, it's gonna have a safety mechanism that automatically shuts it off, which is pretty awesome. Now, each one of these is going to have a thermostat. Right now, this thermostat for this one is hanging up up here, and it's just kind of a little dial that I can turn up and down. This one does not have a digital readout, but there are a lot of brands that do have digital readouts right here on the top where you can just kind of set the temperature that you want it to be, which is pretty awesome. There's a few really good ones. They range in price quite a bit, but honestly, this is going to be the safest bet for heating your chicken coop. I'll put a link in the description for a few different good quality ones that, that will work well for you. And some of them will have different features like the either the dial, so those ones are gonna be a little cheaper, kind of like this one is, or maybe the digital readout. Those ones are a little bit more expensive, but it's pretty nice having that digital readout. These don't have to just be set on top of something or on the ground. If you look at the back here, they have little things so you can mount them on the wall, which is also really nice. It's not gonna melt the wall. It's not gonna, you don't have to worry about it catching the wall on fire because these are extremely, extremely extremely safe. But here's where people get themselves into trouble. If you are using something like this for let's say a month, right? It's really cold outside so you put this in your coop and now your chickens are nice and warm and cozy inside the coop. What happens if there's a blackout? Right, so we talked about earlier how chickens over time will regulate their own body temperature. But if they go from a nice, warm, cozy coop to a 
negative 20 degree weather situation within a few hours, they will not be able to acclimate to that as fast as they need to before getting frostbite or for, before freezing to death. So what that means is if you only have one power source and you're heating your coop with that power source and there's a blackout and you have no way of heating your coop, your chickens could potentially die. They could get frostbite. They could, a whole bunch of different things could happen. And honestly, your chickens would have been better off sitting in the cold where they could have acclimated to that than they would be going from that super nice, warm, cozy, cozy coop straight to a freezing cold coop. So if you don't have a backup source of electricity, something like a generator or something like that, I wouldn't recommend heating your coop at all, period, whatsoever. There's definitely a time and a place to be heating your chicken coop. It's just about taking the right precautions and doing it in a safe way for your chickens. Thank you.